Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 44 of Hirogato Sky Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Did I up? I don't think I did. I'll do it after. I mean, well, hold up. How long her injury's been healing for? Okay, she's human. We know that. Shallow is there. So maybe I'm wrong about Captain Shallow, even though I like her. It, but it would have been really interesting for her to be the villain as well. I'm going to still hope on that until we officially see what this girl looks like. Because, yeah, as I said, she gives us, like, the Red Queen vibes from Alice in Wonderland. Um, a lot of people were also talking about that last week, but we just have to wait and see. Now, while I'm waiting for the episode. <laughs> Okay. Oh, three minute Jesus. I mean, we saw her at the beginning, but. Oh, okay. You know, they must have took a little bit of things from um, I Cut Two Friends, honestly, because look at her. I don't think she remembers, though. Yeah. 
Now, my see, my issue is if she doesn't remember, what if Empress Umbergro is like secretly her long lost sister? Because the preview of last week's episode for this episode, so maybe. I also have a feeling this episode is going to end on a cliffhanger this week. Maybe. I mean, because we have four more, what, four or five more weeks left with this show? Before we get to Wonderful Pretty Hair? <laughs> Let's see, Sora, that, that's the, you know, mm -hmm, that's the leader pretty here in her. The strongest attack to stop you? Girl. I don't think that's going to defeat her. It, it would be too easy. It's not going to work. Hmm. He transformed them. Oh. I mean, you see, look at the earrings, though. I just, what happened 300 years ago, though? So before she did her Thanos snap, like everything, just pause. <laughs>
my thing is, why ain't y'all wake up Agatha and Subasa? What the? I, I mean, yes, like, I love my cute little family at three. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna say that she looks like Elle. So, it's just her future self. <laughs> so, we're having like a Sailor Moon moment, kind of. Kind of but, you know. It's not ruining the space-time continuum. Mm -mm. So, yeah, we, we have baby Kaguya talking to actual Kaguya, and yeah! <laughs> it's like the one episode of Kaguya Summer Love is War, but I heard her several different personalities. Okay, so we're going to find out what happened. Okay. Would you be able to transform? <laughs> they said no. <laughs> you try, baby. So how are you going to get home? And see, I, okay, I think I know my, why it probably didn't work. Because of the fact is they're in the past and we haven't gotten to the legendary pretty care showing up. It's not going to work. You both are. This is just gonna get me even more excited to watch season four of Kaguya Sama and we get like two different roles of regular Kaguya.
So we went from emperor to empress. Okay. And there goes Sora. But the thing is, you can't transform. Smart though. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Oh, uh, and you brought the princess out? Oh, she's going to pray. Mm hmm. So we're going to probably see the legendary pretty hair from the story. Of course it's her.
Okay. That is a good way to leave. They could have left it right there. They didn't have to really continue with anything else. Oh. Wait. Okay, I think I know what's about to happen. Okay, so Kira Noble defeats Emperor Undergo. Empress Undergo sees, and that's why she wants to get revenge. And so she thinks that RL, Our Majesty, was the princess from 300 years ago, when in turn, it's Kira Noble, the other L. Okay, there we go. The, oh, okay, okay. So you know what? Let me tell you something. One thing is I do love the fact with her being the final villain of this show for this season, I do love the fact is that she was very, you know, not really in the show until this episode. This is like the one episode that truly matters as of now of finding out who the final app not the final episode, <laughs> who the final, um, big baddie is it's like how okay so when go princess was airing pretty much almost every season has kind of de done this except hugato i want to say because there was a point in hugato when the main bad guy was always or somewhat um around i think it was hana and such. Um, Curiel, like, not not all the time, but there were times where you could see and then they had, like, a certain connection because of the fact is when she got super depressive, they sought each other out and they were, like, the, like their quote-unquote soulmates and such. It's complicated. If you have not seen that season, go watch that season. It's still good, though. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. They they first try to come to an agreement. Of course, Emperor says no. So in the end, he's like, the only way that we can do this is if we just fight. We got to fight this out. And she defeats him. She gets upset. And she wants revenge on him. For him. Damn. What the heck is this season? Oh my god. This is some family-ish. I, I mean, we've never really, from what I've been, what I remember, because, like, I can't think of, like, all the way from Futariwa to, like, <laughs> any other season, um, where we've had, like, family, mo well, no, because you can say Pacayo and Cure Parfait, but theirs was really different and such. It was only because of the fact is, um, CL left Picario, but that's different. The The family trauma of it all is she wants to get revenge for her dad because her dad died. Um, so that's completely different. A little kind of similar in a way, but still different at the same time. Um, I do like the fact is, yes, they had their little funny bit of both Sora and Machido like, trying to transform. Just very similar to um, <laughs> Hagato. As well with the one episode of Amidu and Lulu, which is, of course, my personal favorite episode, of course, because to me, that was the best freaking episode. And I truly wish Crunchyroll would just get the rights to Hagato or really to just get the rights of every freaking Pretty Care series in a nutshell. So you could just be like, yes, rewatch all these funny moment episodes because they are just so freaking good. But that episode was the best because they did one moment that I think none of us were expecting to do and they did it and I was like I was sticking out but it made me laugh still it's freaking hilarious but yeah it does make me wonder how this is gonna go next week but I mean we're not gonna know really until next week though but anything could happen I'm just truly scared because once we find out the truth of what really happened all these years ago between these two and how it's going to change the future because only the only one person now besides Sora who can stop it is RL, aka Your Majesty. But 
who, who knows how the hell that's gonna go. It, it's a complicated mess. And of course, I love every freaking middle, minute of it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 44 of Hey Don't Gotta Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every when I join the Matches Squad. And of course, I will see you guys either next Saturday or Sunday for episode 45. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.